This week, real simple show, I'm in the Chief of Naval Personnel's office getting answers to the questions you're asking about the Navy's big personnel changes. So we'll just run down the highlights. <laughs> Following SecNav's announcement of several huge new personnel initiatives, I spoke with Vice Admiral Bill Moran to ask the main questions he's getting as the office responsible for communication and implementation of these changes. These include the end of mandatory GMT, changes to how we perform fitness tests, the rebranded Meritorious Advancement Program, and new flexibility in the officer promotion system. So first question, why? Why all the change? Why would you want to change something that seems to be working really well? And um, for the old guard, uh, it's, a, it's a fair question. Uh, for the young kids today that are just coming in, that are looking at the Navy, do I want to make it a career or not? They're looking around and seeing some things that we, we might want to work on uh, to provide more choice. Uh, some flexibility in their career options down the road. Next, June 1st marks the end of mandatory Navy GMT, which sounds too good to be true. So is this even real? So the secretary just said, hey, look, let's knock this off. Let's, let's uh, start over, if you will, uh, come up with better ideas and certainly better training methodology uh, over time and give it back to COs to determine when they think their crew uh, their squad or their unit is in need of that kind of training. With the fitness changes, we know there's going to be a military decoration for three consecutive outstandings and that we're getting 24-hour facilities on many installations, but what's driving that? The so PFA, as we instituted today, is really not measuring better health or, or encouraging or incentivizing better health. It is simply a test. And um, so we're partnering with BUMED to figure out what, what defines better health what do we do to incentivize better health? And really giving them more latitude to really pay most attention to, am I, am I doing the right things to be healthier? The CAP program is going to be called the MAP program. There's more quotas available and shore COs can advance sailors too. So actually I don't think that needs a question. That's just good news. But what's the deal with the changes to the officer promotion and the elimination of the golden career path? It is defined as a golden career path because it's pretty rigid. You don't have opportunities to try something different or to maybe get off track for uh, whatever reason. It could be a family reason, it could be a child care reason, it could be an education reason, it could be a parental reason. Uh, we want to be able to give people off ramps that have a, a great deal of talent or very skilled that want to come back and serve or remain in, in competitive to serve and, and reach certain milestones that are important to them. Well, those are the main questions sailors are asking about these changes, but something tells me you might still have some questions. Well, don't be shy. Send them to us here or tweet us at USM People, and we'll find you the answer. And really, this is a big change to how the Navy normally does business, so do not hesitate to submit feedback. It may even influence how some of these changes take shape going forward. Now, you can find the links to the full interview with CMP in this week's Wire, as well as several other useful stories. But that's it for this video. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm Emerson Miller Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.